What's going on guys, Allsy here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 99 overall team of the season so far card, Lewandowski, a card I'm pretty sure everyone expected me to do a review on, simply because this guy was my guy back in the day. Multiple 30 and O's, multiple top 100s this year. I believe it was when his Champions League card came out. It was absolutely ridiculous because it has every single shooting trait. And there was no one that could stop Lewandowski until they patched him. But this 99 card is exactly what I'm expecting him to do when I had him back in the day. Now, he's got 94 pace, 97 dribbling, 99 shooting, 94 physical, and 95 passing. One thing you probably love to improve there, pace. Other than that, absolutely ridiculous. I did pick this card up for 2.5 mil. 2.5 mil for a 99 overall. Me, personally, I believe it's too cheap. I honestly do. I believe this card is easily a three mil, a three mil card. But I don't know. I took a gamble. If I lose 200k, I lose 200k. If I make 500k, I'll, I make 500k. It doesn't matter to me. I get a review out of it. Six foot. Doesn't matter. I've used him before. And six foot wasn't a problem. High medium work rates. The perfect attacking work rates. Four star skill moves. The burbs spin. The standing scoop turn. He's going to be able to do it. The four star weak foot. For me personally, I don't believe uh, Lewandowski needs a four-star weak foot because he has the outside foot shot trait and he's got every trait he needs. So technically, the four-star weak foot is always a nice add-on, but for me personally, I don't really need it. Now, he is on a engine chem style. He is on 10 chem, 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. Tell me another year that we had a 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed Lewandowski. You can't because there hasn't been one. The shooting-wise, 99 attack positioning, 99 finishing... And 98 shot power. Quite surprised, by the way, that they didn't just give him 99 shot power. That's like it. That's like weird from EA, but at the same time, it's like I don't know. I really don't know. But he has got, as I said, all the shooting traits, finesse shot, outside foot, and chip shot, which is always going to be nice. He has got 95 long shots, 99 volleys, and 97 penalties as well. He's got 99 vision, 84 crossing, 99 freaky accuracy, 99 short passing, 93 long passing, and 98 curve. If you want to, you can play this guy in the camp position. But for me personally, I, I'm i always going to look at Lewandowski as a striker. Come on now. Look at those finishing stats. It can't go to waste. 94 agility, 99 balance, 99 reactions, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling, and 98 composure. Him being 6 foot and having those dribbling stats is just out of this world. It honestly is. He's going to feel so good on the ball. The ball control is going to be there. The composure is going to be there. And hopefully he feels like a god. Now he has got 96 jumping, 99 hitting actually. Him being 6 foot. I would say he'll be out heading 6 foot 2 and below. He has got 89 stamina which means lasting throughout the whole 90 minutes. Shouldn't be a problem. 96 strength. He's going to have that you know little shoulder to shoulder animations time to time. And hopefully he can win those. He has got 92 aggression as well. And I can't really say it's going to make him faster because you know he already has 99 acceleration but it'll just make him win more 50 50s now today i have linked him up with guerrero and goretzka i've also got the likes of witzel davis and boateng in the team if you guys haven't seen the witzel review link will be in the description i will be using Lewandowski today in a 4-4-2 playing him in that striker role but i low-key want to try him in the cam role as well so i will be playing him in a 4-2-3-1 but let's get straight into these games. Now, the first thing we always do is just check how agile he is on the ball. And look at this. Look at the acceleration. You can honestly see how close he keeps the ball. How he's so precise when dribbling. Little pass 11. Little four star, four star. Oh my God. Now, I'm not going to lie. I didn't expect it to go in. I stopped talking. I was like, oh, that's such a bad hill to hill. I was going to take the shot. And then I was like, ah, it's probably going to go way off target. That's my fault. It's a bad angle. And somehow... Running away from goal, Lewandowski has managed to sneak it in towards the near post. What a shot and what a piece of skill. He's so fast. My God. I would never, ever have thought they would have gave Lewandowski this much pace. Nice. Really good strength just to hold the player off there. Really good fast. Uh, really good fast. Really good pace. Sorry, as well. Adama. To Lewandowski is an insane run. Little ball roll going forward. Beautiful turn. Hard track. Okay, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. Please go into the back of the net. The four star weak foot coming into play. Super, super unfortunate to not actually make it go into the back of the net. But look at the dribbling. Look at the pace. Look how good he keeps the ball. And it's very, very unfortunate shot. Adama. What a run, Levin. What a run with the finesse shot. I've put too much power into it. That is always going to be a problem, especially with me. I just wanted to absolutely rattle the back of the net. And I should have put less power into it. And it would have been a goal. But what a run Lewandowski made. 
all the way down there. A little cheeky over the top. And just like that, we should actually get a go out of this. Going to go for the near post. I'd said near post and Adama hit it to the far. All right. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter as long as the ball still goes into the back of the net. But what a pass it is from Lewandowski just to hit it all the way over to James, I believe. Lewandowski in great position right here. Doing a little drag back, doing, trying to create a space. It is an absolute beautiful shot, but even a better save from team of the season, Oblak. I honestly thought this was going to fly into the back of the net with his little twists and turns as well. Now, he is obviously six foot. He's got amazing jumping, amazing heading accuracy. So why not? Let's try a little cheeky near post header and see if it goes in the back of the net. It is timed green, but super, super unfortunate not to make it go into the back of the net. I must say, I'm not the greatest at that. But at some occasions, I do obviously swing the ball in perfectly. And that was like a perfect header as well. Adama. Little hit back to Lewandowski with the left foot, with the four-star weak foot. And it is a beautiful finish. Great position from him once again. Just be to be positioned pretty much in a passing option, especially inside the box. is so, so effective this year. And he actually made that power shot go as far as possible away from the keeper. And obviously into the back of the net. Go on there, pressure that. There you go. Use the pace. Use that 99 acceleration. Use the 99 sprint speed. Get away from him. Full roll the keeper. Am I going to get a finish? Is that even a question for 99 Lewandowski? Let's do be fair. The ball goes into the back of the net once again. And it's insane, insanely like fast how good he is at just running with the ball. It's out of this world. Little touch of Levin. Use that pace. Come on. Fake shot. Little try to do a turn. Quick feet. I'm actually going to go for the shot here. Oh my God, if that went in. That wasn't even a good angle. And honestly, I thought he was going to do an outside foot shot there. And he just didn't. And if that went in, I'm walking out this room because no way that should be going in. So we're going to do this a little cheeky near post header again to see if it works this time. Lewandowski attack it. It's the same thing this time it has worked. One thing I'm liking about him, how how we like... He's so aggressive towards the ball. Like he finds his positioning perfectly. And then all he has to do is go around the player. Be aggressive towards the ball. Then the accuracy with the header is unbelievable here. Like post and in. He gave the keeper no chance of saving that one. I'm going to send Levin on a run there. Because I do see that space. Fake shot. Going to go the same way. Just mix it up a little bit. I should have gone the other way. Because I didn't actually think... He would have got sent that hard. Like it was quite easy to read that I was going to cut in. So I tried to be a bit unpredictable and go through the inside. And he did actually bring out Van der Sar. We are going to try this once again though. A little near post corner. Try to get Lewandowski on the header. It is an absolute bullet of a header. Honestly, this like near post corner thing. I'm not good at it. And I've said it multiple times. I am not. And the fact that Lewandowski has managed to score two of them. <laughs> it actually quite surprised me. Because that header... The keeper's not saving that. That's a bullet. Lewandowski. The one-two maybe. There you go. Going to go for the finesse towards the near post this time. Because I did actually predict he was going to bring the keeper. Because he's brought the keeper out how many times? Like three or four times now. So I'm going to have to start finessing it. Try to go around him. But this guy has honestly part the bus the whole game. I've struggled. Struggled to break him down. But we eventually got there. And Lewandowski does put it into the back of the net. Little RB turn. Bring it back. Oh. Little... Go on. Oh, come on. How has that not gone in? That was super, super nice. The footwork was literally pinpoint where I just had to pretty much try to create an angle for myself. And I created a beautiful angle. But one thing I can say is that I should have power shotted that and not finesse shotted it. Because if I power shotted that, especially with his 98 shot power, that was going to fly into the back of the net. So it is time to review him. Three games played, six goals. What else did you expect? The guy is a scoring machine. I wouldn't say everything went into the back of the net because there were some situations that the keeper did save it. But you also have to understand he's going up against people like Timo Season, Oblak, Van der Sar. Not every shot is going to go in, especially how overpowered goalkeepers are this year and how bad the shooting mechanics are this year. Now, 2.5 mil for this card. I personally think that's a bit too cheap. And I honestly thought he was going to go for around like 3 mil, 3.5 mil. But. Hey, I'm just lucky enough to pick him up for 2.5. Now, six foot wasn't an issue at all. I didn't think it was going to be an issue. It was actually like a plus because one thing I can do with him, because he's so fast, I can press really well with him. And he also has that interception reach to or like tackle reach to get someone from very far. And that's always going to be nice to see because as soon as he gets that ball, we do end up going for a counter attack. And also those little near post headers. He does bullet it, honestly, into the ground and makes it like impossible to save. I believe I tried three and two of them actually went in 
Now, high medium work rates are literally, his attacker positioning is so, so impressive. He makes the perfect runs. He comes short when you need him to come short, and it's always going to be lovely to see. The four star skill moves, I would say the hill to hill was probably my favorite skill move, but also the drag backs, the ball rolls were super, super fast on him. The four star weak foot, honestly, like, I won't trust power shotting with a four star weak foot. I never have. I like to do a finesse shot with that weaker foot because sometimes when you do power it, it doesn't really go right into the corner. But with Lewandowski, honestly, the power shot with that weaker foot was beautiful. How much power and how much accuracy was behind the weak foot, it honestly felt like a five star. Now, pace wise, he's insanely fast and he's by far the fastest Lewandowski I have ever used. His fake shots around the corners, everything. He was giving Sergio Ramos. Team of the season card, a run for his money. Now, shooting wise, as I said, shoot mechanics aren't amazing this year, but Lewandowski, when he put him, in, he put him into a good position or like a 50 50 position, most likely the ball's going to go into the back of the net. Now, passing wise, you can play him in cam. His passing is absolutely ridiculous. The overtop through balls, a little tick attack a play, pin, was pinpoint. Now, dribbling wise, he feels ridiculous on the ball. And one thing I can say is he's dribbling is so so much better than like the headliner the informs that's the one thing i absolutely loved how good he kept the ball to his how close sorry he kept the ball to his feet how composed he was on it as well it's just he's dribbling it felt like a felt like a neymar if you want to say but without the five star skills obviously now stamina wise he did last about the whole 90 minutes jumping heading accuracy as i said i believe he does no he doesn't i honestly thought how good his heading his heading was i thought he had the power shot header that's how good his heading was. And I thought to myself, does he have it? Have I just missed it or something? But he clearly doesn't have it. But the 99 heading actually looks like you don't need that trait. Now, strength-wise, he did hold up the ball really, really well. And the aggression, he made him fight for the ball up in the air when going for a header. Now, we have to give him a rating out of 10. He's obviously a 10 out of 10. Let's all be fair. It was not, not in doubt at all. But one thing I can say is I might, might use this card for foot champs. He and Lewandowski might be back in my team for Sunday. Let's not get any hopes up right now because he is a very, very expensive card. But it depends how much he drops. It's depending on what I will, if I will include him in the team. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.